creative friends, it's Gwen and I am back today with another scrapbooking process video. Today's share is for Coco Vanilla Studio and I am using their new Sunkissed collection for this page. I have a summer photo of my daughter and I taken on a family holiday fairly recently and I'm going to be using this cut file from Cut To You. I've backed that one with the pattern papers from the 6x8 paper pad and I have gone ahead and created my background there as well and I asked in the Coco Vanilla Studio community uh, whether I should add some mixed media to my background and the overwhelming uh, answer I got was yes you should Gwen so I'm um, not a big mixed media girl so I'm doing a Gwen version of uh, mixed media for this page Okay, so even when I am working with mixed media, I love a really clean look to my page. So I have gone ahead here and masked off my stencil. This one is a six by six stencil and my page obviously is 12 by 12. So I did not want any of the spray that I'm using there to um, like accidentally splatter on the background of my layout. I wanted the mixed media to only be within the space of the stencil, if that makes sense. And because I had not gessoed my background, I had actually just applied the stencil and then masked the area off. Yeah, any of the overspray would have been permanent. I wouldn't have been able to blot it up with the paper towel there at all. It would have been uh, there for good. So I was very careful to mask off the area. And that's the plan. So it is, oh, I know a lot of you will probably go, oh, well, that's not really mixed media, Gwen. And I guess it's not really, but it's my version of it. I am not a very messy scrapbooker. I, I love seeing that kind of look on other people's pages, but I find it very hard to add to my own pages. So I felt like this was sort of like a Gwen version. A clean mixed media is kind of what I've termed um, the look. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a Gwen version of mixed media on my page for this layout. With all of that scary stuff out of the way, my background's nice and dry now, and I am just going ahead and mounting my photo. Again, I've used pattern paper from the 6x8 paper pad, paper stack, uh, that's in the collection for that. Uh, and I am gonna add a little bit of stitching. Now, I will always stitch around my photo and the border, like the edge of my layout, but I did add a bit of stitching around the edge of the stencil there. And again, it kind of, for me, it made it look like it was obvious that that's exactly where I wanted the stencil to finish. I wanted to contain that mixed media and keep it all within that space. And I really like the uh, like the additional um, detail that stitching adds to a layout without adding bulk. So yeah, I love it when I can add a little bit of extra stitching. It's always fun. So you can see now that the structure and the layout for the page is really um, pulled together. I have locked in my really large elements, so my photo and my title in this case. I am really keen to use that palm tree. Uh, this photo was taken on the beach, so perfect photo to have a palm tree on your page. So that one does make it. And I am going to lock my title in there. I've raised it up on 3D foam tape and positioned it sort of um, off to the left a little bit of my photo. So the, the page isn't 100% centered. And I kind of felt like it should be, but I fixed that in a moment. You'll see that in a moment, how, how that comes together. So my title is going to go right there. I have used the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to uh, lock that into position. And in a moment, I'm actually going to move. Oh, yes, that's me showing you just how I'm keeping those edges interesting. Not Nothing's lining up exactly. Um, I am going to move the palm tree here in a second and it is going to end up here on the right. And the only reason I did that really was because I felt that once I added the title there, it was very left heavy and it didn't seem centered. So what I'm going to do to balance all of that out is build my embellishment cluster here on the right. 
This is the part of the um, scrapbooking process that I enjoy the most. I love pulling out all of the bits and pieces in a collection and mixing and matching elements and, and creating those clusters and, and yeah, adding those, those finishing touches to the page. So uh, the palm tree there, the little drink, uh, the rainbow, the clouds, they are all from the embellishment pack. I do end up removing the rainbow I was just a bit concerned that it was covering up too much of my mixed media uh, because I had promised the girls in the um, community group that I was going to add it. I obviously didn't want to then go ahead and add it and then cover it all up. So I thought I would save that rainbow for another page. Uh, I have also added in some elements from the puffy sticker sheet. There's some really cute little um, icons uh, in that pack, so check that one out for sure. It's really, really sweet. And I've also added in three of the uh, wood, em uh, wood embellishments. No, wooden buttons they are. Um, and they've kind of got like an epoxy sort of um, sticker in the, in the top of them. and They're really shiny. They're a really lovely height. I actually add them to my page without the foam. So they do come on a foam pad. I just remove that foam pad and add them to my page just as a wooden button. And I find that that for me is a really nice height, not too high. And um, yeah, just adds that perfect amount of dimension and interest uh, to my page. And I am working on essentially three areas of embellishment, so three embellishment clusters. So the first one is the top right hand side of the layout where you see the clouds and the rainbow there and the sun. And the second is uh, to the right above the O in hello, so the palm tree and the drink there. And then I do fuss a little bit with something on the left and it is, it takes, this bit takes a little bit of work because uh, I was just, I found that that big sun in the cut file there does go quite high. And then, so when I was adding things above that, I was like, hmm, I'm not sure whether that's too high. But then when I was adding them down there near the H, I kind of felt that they were too, um, too much in line with the, um, drink and the O and the elements near the O there on the right so I kind of wanted them to sit sort of in between so I did fuss with that just yeah for a little bit I end up with just the one um, element there in the corner of the sun but I did add this banner piece so you might recall on my last payout a layout that was go see do I really wanted to add that banner piece and you know refrained and thought no I'll save it for another layout well this is that layout it does end up on this one and it's the perfect addition to that side to kind of round out that empty space that's above the photo there I am super happy with how this is all looking so I am going to glue everything into position I do also add in just a couple of the die cut hearts just to kind of add a little bit of a smaller detail and I feel like that really just finishes off the page really nicely. I hope you enjoyed this one my creative friends. If you like the way that I scrapbook or the way that I chat about the way that I scrapbook I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye!